I'm joined by David Cook, the Wake County Manager, and Dr. Stephen Scott, the President of Wake Tech Community College. Thank you both for being here. It's great to be here. Thank you, Sarah, for having me. Let's start off by talking about Wake Tech's enrollment. The school has been growing sure. by leaps and bounds the last few years. Can you tell us a little bit about that growth? Absolutely. Last year, Wake Tech served over 66,000 students. Uh, we have grown 55 percent in the last five years. So it's a very significant amount of growth and uh, we became the largest of the 58 community colleges uh, in North Carolina last year. So it's uh, continuing and that's been in spite of uh, fairly significant state budget cuts. Mr. Cook, how does the county support the community college? Well we do that in a number of ways. Uh, we provide some operating support to the community college system, but again, most of their money comes from the state of North Carolina. But the primary responsibility of the county is to fund the capital program. And so all the buildings that you see at the number of campuses for Wake Tech are, are usually have been built and financed by the county. And so the bond program that we're talking about in November is an additional $200 million to build the capital infrastructure for the community college. We've heard some discussions about this being able to happen with no tax increase. Can you explain to us exactly how that is? Because that's a very important question to voters. Oh, I think it is an important question to voters. And, and we are, um, in this case, I guess you're happy to hear that we're able to do the bond the program. Static for the community college system without requiring a tax increase to pay for the debt. And what that means is, is we pay like somebody would pay a mortgage on their house for the facilities that the community college has. And as we pay down other mortgages, it increases the capacity to incur more debt without needing new money. And so in this case, we have the capacity for the community college system so we can go to the voters and say if you approve this bond referendum we could pay for 200 million dollars in capital construction without raising property taxes and sarah that's huge for wake tech that uh, for the county commissioners and the county staff to take that position and, and make those funds available is uh, greatly appreciated by me and 66,000 students if the bond referendum is approved, can you tell us a little bit about the projects that could begin? Sure. There are a number of projects, first of all, Sarah, uh, spread out over a four-year period. Let's talk about the North Campus. Uh, the majority of the resources will be used at the North Campus. North Campus uh, uh, will add three uh, large classroom buildings, averaging over 90,000 square feet each two parking decks, two uh, regional energy plants, and about a half mile of roads and parking lots on, on that campus. That will allow the college to serve additional students in healthcare, additional students in information uh, technology, uh, gaming and, and simulations, and add a much needed uh, library learning resources center on, on that uh, campus. Uh, then uh, a portion of it, about 10% uh, of it, will go to the public safety campus and it will allow us to complete that campus, uh, add additional facilities for police, fire, emergency medical workers. Then uh, the other large piece, about 30% uh, of the 200, will go to the RTP campus. Uh, we have 96 acres in Morrisville that was purchased from the 2007 bond referendum uh, for the next campus. That will be focused on companies in Western Wake and in RTP. Uh, it'll focus on things like uh, uh, cloud computing uh, and other IT uh, related areas. In addition, uh, we've are working with the companies in Western Wake to find out what are their needs, how do they want uh, them uh, addressed. Uh, companies like Lenovo, Cisco, uh, and uh, NetApps in, in that area. And lastly, some really exciting stuff uh, like replacing some roofs, 
uh, redoing 1,900 parking spaces, uh, replacing heating and air conditioning equipment. In 2013, Wake Tech will be 50 years old. And so a lot of the uh, equipment and facilities are uh, 40 years old or older and need uh, major repairs. The whole thing though is jobs. That, that's the other big piece is that uh, Wake Tech prepares people for jobs. And that leads me to the last question that I had for you, Mr. Cook. What is Wake, Co Wake County's relationship with Wake Tech as far as helping the business community? Well, I think whether it's a recession or good times, Wake Tech is a valuable resource in the, in the community. And the feedback we get uh, from businesses is tremendous. So anytime we're talking about recruiting a new company to town, or the county, anytime we're talking about retraining opportunities within the county. Uh, when in the last four years, when you talk about the unemployment rate going up and people needing a place to go to get retrained, reskilled, a Wake Tech is there every time. And so we see it as one of the most valuable resources that we have in the area of economic development and jobs. Uh, and that's stringing it on top of the K through 12 education system, right? They also have partnerships with K through 12 education. And so they're helping people on the way up the education ladder and uh, older adults when they need to be retrained. So that's a super resource for the county. Thank you both for taking the time to be with us today. We really do appreciate it.